Hello everybody, Claudio here. Today's video is pretty short and it is about uh, a Class A amplifier made with BJT and a variation with MOSFET. And I'll present uh, an improvement uh, that increases the stability and the fidelity of this circuit. Also, we will see some considerations uh, about the practicality of using a Class A amplifier. So, with no more ado, let's dive in into the schematics. This is the uh, classical Class A amplifier made with a BJ, BJT. And, um, and what characterizes uh, a Class A amplifier is that uh, this point, that is the output of the signal, is set to be at uh, half of the voltage uh, of the supply voltage. Uh, here. So, for example, if we have 12 volts here, uh, here we need to set this point to 6 volt. And to set this point to 6 volt, we need to change this, these two resistors uh, so that uh, the bias of the transistor is centered in a way that uh, here we have 6 volt. And this resistor is important because um, it compensates uh, in the, uh, the, the variation of gain of the transistor with the temperature. Uh, in other words, um, uh, if the transistor uh, gains a little bit too much, uh, the current uh, that flows through this resistor would increase the voltage drop across the resistor itself and uh, uh, would cause a, a negative feedback uh, reducing the current uh, uh, for the base. And um, of course, because here we have uh, a DC voltage, uh, uh, a bias, uh, um, we need to decouple the uh, signal from the input uh, and through this capacitor we decouple the uh, signal from the input. And of course, at the output, uh, uh, since this point is set to half of the uh, power voltage, uh, power supply, sorry, um, the output signal swings around this uh, half voltage, uh, so for example 6 volt, and uh, if we want to connect uh, another uh, stage or a load here, we need to add a capacitor to decouple the signal, so let's say a, a loudspeaker to decouple the signal, to remove the, the DC component of the signal and uh, let pass through only the uh, alternating current. Uh. A variant of the circuit uh, is this, uh, where the BJT is uh, replaced with uh, uh, MOSFETs uh, and uh, we need uh, a potentiometer or something to provide a bias here, to uh, provide the, the enough voltage uh, to make the uh, MOSFET to uh, conduct uh, into a linear region. And this is uh, easy to understand uh, looking at the transfer characteristic. Uh, here we have the uh, gate source voltage uh, and, and on this axis the drain current uh, that flows through the MOSFET. And uh, here the look, looking at the curve, uh, this pink curve uh, that is uh, for example at the temperature junction of 25 degrees Celsius, we need to increase the uh, gate source voltage to increase the current drain. And below the threshold voltage here, uh, we don't have any current in to, that flow through the drain, so we have to reach almost this point and then increase the voltage uh, so that the current that flow through the drain and uh, through this resistor, the 4, uh, it is, uh, um, causes this resistor to have a voltage drop that equates half the power supply voltage. And uh, of course, again, uh, through a capacitor to decouple the, the bias, uh, we provide the signal and, um, and the MOSFET uh, acts uh, as a, a variable resistor controlled with voltage in, to the input. But this circuit of of course, uh, is pretty unstable because it is hard to adjust uh, the, 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 the voltage here, the set point here. So an improvement of this circuit is to add an operational amplifier. So let's see the, this version of circuit with uh, an operational amplifier. And here we go. Here we have this, the circuit uh, that is made with an operational amplifier. Here it's possible to get rid of the trimmer and uh, of course uh, and uh, 
An interesting point is that we can get rid of the capacitors altogether because here we can also amplify DC voltages. And this is a very interesting circuit not only for audio applications but uh, also for other kind of applications where DC uh, voltage is required now in, on output. And uh, because here LM4562 uh, operation amplifier which uh, has a pretty high bandwidth so here we can have a pretty good um, bandwidth. And you can notice here that uh, I added uh, this particular uh, part of the circuit uh, that is an alternative uh, out, mm, reference, GND reference uh, uh, in the case uh, uh, you want to uh, supply the circuit with no dual voltage uh, but uh, with a single voltage, uh, 0, 24 volt. And uh, in this case the circuit works only uh, with uh, a uh, loudspeaker uh, for all the applications. Now let's do some considerations about this circuit. Uh, first off, uh, um, let's see when uh, the uh, circuit is at rest and we see because here we have a, a voltage drop across this resistor, resistor that is uh, half of the voltage uh, uh, of the power supply between this point and this point. Uh, here we have uh, a lot of power dissipated by this resistor and by this transistor. And to have the maximum power transfer, we need to have uh, the load uh, that has uh, um, the same impedance of this resistor, so that uh, the same current flow to both this resistor and the load carrying the same power to output, which by the way is one fourth of the power of the total power dissipation of this resistor at rest. And uh, we see that if we increase the impedance of the of the load, we increase the voltage, but we have less current so that uh, we have uh, less power transferred to the output uh, and uh, vice versa if we reduce the impedance uh, we have uh, uh, less voltage but higher current uh, which again leads to less power transferred to the output. So the class A amplifier is the worst circuit when it comes to the efficiency because here we have uh, and a total dissipation, power dissipation of 80 watts, which is a lot of power wasted in comparison with the 10 watts maximum that we can have at the output. Of course, the class A amplifier is a hog of energy. And so what could be an alternative to waste less energy and maybe have more power at the output? Let's see. So uh, this is the circ alternative circuit uh, that is made with uh, a push-pull Darlington configuration uh, and uh, with, made with uh, NPN and PNP transistors. Again, it is uh, powered with the dual power supply, but uh, as uh, we've seen in the previous circuit, uh, it can be changed, it can be modified to be powered with a single power supply, 24 volt, and uh, a virtual ground that is not shown here. But for the understanding of the circuit, let's stick with the dual power supply. Here we have uh, this uh, uh, network, uh, this resistor network uh, that forms a, a voltage ladder. And so in this point, we have a 1.4 volt positive and here 1.4 volt negative. So that uh, this transistor and this transistor is a little bit biased so that uh, a quotient current flow through this transistor of 100 milliamps. And this helps uh, uh, to reduce the crossover distortion of the circuit which is anyway uh, compensated by the operation amplifier here that uh, uh, receives the feedback from the output. And this circuit provides a good power at the output uh, with little waste of energy at the circuit just to run the circuit. In spite of being less energy demanding, this circuit 
could uh, suffer of a little bit more distortion in respect to the class A amplifier, which, yeah, it wastes a lot of energy, but being more linear could have very low distortion. But what do you think? Do you prefer more the class A amplifier or the push-pull version? And uh, would you like to have a PCB of this circuit? Uh, and which one of the two? Or would you like to have a fully assembled circuit? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you find it interesting this video, please hit the thumb up icon. Uh, also subscribe to the channel. This will help the channel to grow. And uh, for today, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. And this transistor is not critical. It, uh, here I use this uh, uh, complementary uh, transistors, but it uh, can be used uh, tip uh, uh, 30, 50, 55, and here 29, 55, uh, or other kind of transistors. Uh, works pretty well anyway. Uh, it is important that they are meant to be complementary uh, and uh, they uh, fit the, the power required to the output. This circuit could provide a power of around uh, 50 watts at the output, uh, provided that uh, enough um, heat is removed from the transistor when they work.